Paul Farrelly, tell us who won and why. Well, the, the, the judges were torn uh, on scale uh, and sheer professionalism as a, as a role model. Um, Saracens are, are, are outstanding. In terms of the development over the last year in putting the, the community activities and, um, and the whole uh, ethos at the, at the heart of their club, then we felt that the, the Bath uh, were, should also win. So uh, it was a tie amongst the judges and, and we've decided to award uh, the, uh, the Cup jointly uh, this year. And what's, tell me, what's, give an example of something outstanding. What really struck you about the work you saw today? Well, what really struck me uh, about Saracens was that uh, how, how almost, given their scale and the, the, the length of time they've been involved in it, that uh, they, they almost took it for granted that, that, uh, that we knew uh, the impact that their, their programme had had because they were winners of the award in 2006. What really struck me with... Uh, with Bath was the was the, the real you got to the guts of it that they were concentrating on deprived communities uh, a few miles out of Bath's wonderful Regency uh, town centre places where where cars don't uh, don't have wheels if you leave them too long and that really 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 uh, really did uh, strike me because so important an achievement is is youngsters having confidence and, and rugby and the role models and rugby can give kids confidence. Great. And Newcastle came third, but any thoughts about their work? Yeah, Newcastle were, were winners last year. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a virgin judge, um, but I thought that they, what they were doing was absolutely wonderful. Clearly focused on, on, on the different areas in terms of impact and how they measured what they were doing. Um, I got the impression that uh, they were probably trying to do too much on the, on the, on the, the staff that they, they had uh, and clearly the staff are doing a wonderful job in reaching over to Cumbria and all the way down to Sheffield um, and I think they probably need a, a, a bit more assistance in taking it to another level. Do you think there are lessons in terms of sport and health and education policy in the work you saw today? Well, as I um, uh, said to the, to the Saracens uh, people, it's a testament uh, today to how rugby has evolved because years ago uh, uh, rugby was a, an, an insular sport, male dominated, often very cliquey and, and clubs wouldn't have dreamt of going out and doing dance programmes for, for example uh, uh, in the community. It would have horrified the stuffed old uh, commit shirts of the committee uh, if uh, clubs like Saracens did that. But what we've seen today is how, how those clubs are, are, are setting, a, set, setting the standards uh, for, for others including professional football clubs in, in making sure that sport makes a difference to everybody.